Please welcome the coolest of the cool. Mr. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is here tonight. Jeffrey, so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Where uh, in the world are you are you joining us from right now? I am joining you from lovely Sonoya, Georgia, where we are currently filming The Walking Dead. Yeah, and how's it going? Is it going well? Yeah, it's going good. You know, we're uh, we're on like uh, episode four. We are going to be shooting for over a year straight. Oh my goodness um, me! Yeah, we've been here for two months already, and we don't finish till March of two thousand twenty-two. That's incredible. That's yeah. amazing. What a what an incredible experience to know that something's gonna because it's the final season, right? It is the final That's season. Crazy. It's basically it's kind of like two seasons. You know, right. instead of. Uh, 16 episodes we're doing 24 but then you add the six we did a couple months ago the covid episode sure so it's 30 episodes in in uh you know a little over a year that we're gonna do so yeah it's crazy i was thinking about you on my on my journey in and i was thinking jeffrey morgan is a is a is a it's a good name it's a fine name when you uh, add you. when you add dean it's suddenly elevated to a whole new level of call isn't it <laughs> Like Jeffrey Morgan, I think, is helping me with my accounts. Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan is sleeping with my wife. You know? Like, well, it's I just, mean, yeah, it's is. the coolest name. Like, is this, when did, you, when did you decide to add the Dean? I added the Dean. Well, uh, first of all, it's not, a, it's not one I just made up to no, look. No, absolutely. No, I, I wasn't <laughs> suggesting it was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's my grandfather's name. Uh, he's Dean Morgan. My dad is Richard Dean, and I'm Jeffrey Dean. My son is Gussie Dean, or Augustus Dean. Um, I added it when I joined SAG. There was already a Jeff Morgan. Um, right. And that's what I'd always been, is just Jeff Morgan. I was Jeffrey Dean when I was in trouble, um, <laughs> which kind of goes along with your whole theory, by the way, uh, of being a troublemaker. So um, I became Jeffrey Dean, you know, 30 some odd years ago when I joined uh, the Screen Actors Guild. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add a Dean. Do you know what add I mean? Dean. James Dean add Morgan. Dean. James Dean Morgan. James Dean Corden. Yeah, there you go. James <laughs> Dean Corden. Still, still sounds like a bit of a prick. <laughs> Doesn't well, he? You, but, but you can sleep with my wife, so <laughs> we're even. Well, and she is your wife. And because since you, since you were last here, you, you married your long-term partner, Hillary. Congratulations on that. <laughs> now, you had something at your wedding, which I think is a great idea. You had a tattoo artist at your yeah. wedding. How many guests got tattooed that day? And did any of them regret it? I, I don't think any regret it. And they, the tattoo artist is a friend of mine, Mike, and he might still be there uh, <laughs> tattooing people um, because, you know, he, he was sure when I asked him to do it, if he would do it, he was like, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, it's the most maybe 30 people will get tattoos. I think he tattooed like 100 people that night. Wow. Um, I remember seeing him at one point, uh, like four or five hours in, and and he was... He was like, I gotta have some food, man. I gotta have some food. And it, the line was huge. You know, there was like grandparents in line, for God's oh, sake. I love it. it. You know, I yeah. once pitched at our Late Late Show Christmas party, I think this is two, three years ago, that we should have a tattoo artist here, up in one of the dressing rooms. And uh, Rob and Ben just said no. And I Why? still. I, exactly. Thank you, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. Thank you. Good Thank idea. you. I think it's, it's I good, still stand by it. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. I'll tell you just that everyone that went to that wedding, the one thing they all talk about still uh, isn't my love for my wife no. or vice versa. It's the tattoo artist and the tattoo they got. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're currently filming the last season of The Walking Dead, and this is for the first time you have your whole family out with you on, out there in, in Georgia. How's that been? How's it been different? Well, it's it's great. I mean, I love my family dearly, but you know, I I've never been with them this much. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Um, since since the pandemic began, you know, we've all been together, and Gus is going to school virtually still. So it's been great. They've been able to travel. 
Um, I think the difference is I've got a three-year-old like attached to me. My yes. wife calls her a barnacle. Um, <laughs> she's attached to my leg at all times. So like learning a monologue is, is uh, exceedingly hard with a little girl attached to my leg. But otherwise, it's been, it's been awesome. Um, I had to kick them out of the house to do your show right now. Oh, wow. You didn't yeah, have to so do that. Yeah, so Hillary's got car driving around because George <laughs> just not... But isn't it. your your wife just played your wife in in the season finale of The Walking Dead? How did that go? Had you worked together before? We, uh, we'd been on the same show before, um, but we'd never had scenes together. Um, like, she was in Extant, um, a show that I did uh, with Halle Berry, and Halle and I came on your That's show. That's right, I remember. And, and Hillary had a role in that, but we never had scenes together. Um, and uh, uh, so this is the first time we worked together. It was it was awesome. It was, the again, the first time we'd been away from our kids since it all started. So it was like having a date with like 40 crew members around us. But uh, it was great. And she was unbelievable. And um, the, the Here's Negan episode uh, turned out pretty damn good. So I, I, it was it was cool. And it isn't, don't, isn't another member of your family going to make their debut on the show? I don't think you've said this before, right? What, what can you tell us? Which uh, other family member is joining the show? The official announcement, Gus Morgan, my son, my 11-year-old son, is going to be a, uh, the featured walker in episode five. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, uh, he's been getting his COVID test so he can be on set and, and all that. And he is, he is so pumped. It's ridiculous. Um, but I just remembered today that last time we did zombie makeup, so he's going to be a walker and have all the, the stuff done. And, and it's kind of a cool role he's doing in the show. But last time we did kind of any zombie makeup on him, he looked at his reflection in the mirror and passed out. No. So I... It, and that just dawned on me today. Now that was uh, that was a few years ago, so I'm hoping he doesn't pass out this time around, because um, the makeup's going to be extensive and cool. Um, but he's so excited. That's going to be so great. Now let's talk about your new movie, The Unholy, which opened as the number two movie in America this past weekend. Yeah. Um, for anyone who hasn't caught it, what's it about, and, and, and uh, who do you play? Uh, I play a game with a guy named Jerry Fenn, and he's uh, kind of a disgraced journalist. He used to have his, you know, stuff together. I almost just threw in a word I'm not supposed to on TV. Um, uh, and, you know, he was a serious writer, and then he started concocting and making up stories. So now he's writing for, you know, kind of rag magazines and, um, you know, working for like $100 a story. And he stumbles upon... Uh, this girl that has some kind of channeling with, we think, Mary, you know, Jesus' mother. Um, and so uh, he knows he's got a story. He kind of befriends this woman, or this girl, and it kind of the story jumps off from there. But it's it's based on a novel, uh, James Herbert. You know who that is? I figure you might, because he's like, he's like the British Stephen King. Right. Um, and he wrote this novel called Shrine, and that's what this movie is. And they changed the name to The Unholy. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see it.